Oh, the little bitty baby Don Lemon run back to mommy and daddy seeing in to tell them how mean Elon Musk was to that little unk nook boom baby. What's going on, everybody? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you guys follow me on all these platforms you see up here, if you would, please. Appreciate you guys taking your time out of this night. Yeah, I had to do this, ladies and gentlemen. You guys all seen the title up there, but uh, I had to get into this. And I want to give a shout out to Kimberly Campbell, 8355, who responded to the video I posted earlier about Elon Musk firing Don Lemon. And she said, Ty, you should see his interview with CNN because he talks about the interview with Elon Musk. Don Lemon was off the rails. And of course, when I saw this, I had to go and do it and look at it. And I pulled it up. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I showed you guys a little bit of a clip that was sent to me about what Don Lemon said, which y'all saw at the beginning. But I am getting ready to watch this with you. And I'm going to warn some of you before y'all get completely pissed off. I will be stopping the video, pausing and talking. For some of you that do not like that, you might not want to watch this then because I am going to pause and talk. Now, I told you guys I take constructive criticism really, really well. I did the video with uh, Candace Owens and Cuomo and you guys did voice and say how y'all were tired of me pausing the video and all that. But ladies and gentlemen, I hear y'all, but... You know you can't go and watch this by yourself, too. Typically, I would talk like I'm doing right now, play you guys the whole clip, go back and analyze it, but I am going to run a go through it with you. So be forewarned, I am going to be pausing. I'll do my best not to pause as much, but at the same time, I have to be myself on this. So anyway, folks, without further ado, let's get ready to roll into this particular clip with Don Lemon speaking out after Elon Musk didn't cancel the deal. He fired you. And I said earlier why he fired you. So make sure y'all hit that like button for me real quick, all right? And let's get ready to get to this video. Here we go. Elon Musk tells Don Lemon, quote, contract is canceled, end quote. Now in a moment, I'm going to speak exclusively with Don Lemon, and he has clips of the nearly hour and a half interview with Musk. Clips like this one that we received from Don's production team. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly, was... I could care less. We're gonna have more clips from Lemon's interview with Musk in a moment. In a statement earlier today, Lemon writes in part, quote, there were no restrictions on the interview that he willingly agreed to. We had a good conversation. Clearly, he felt differently. His commitment to a global town square where all questions can be asked and all ideas can be shared seems not to include questions of him from people like me. Now, CNN reached out to X for their comment, and their response is, quote, we reserve the right to make decisions about our business partnerships, and after careful consideration, X decided not to enter into a commercial partnership with the show. Now, this decision coming as Musk had, of course, publicly courted Lemon and has repeatedly made a commitment to free speech when he bought Twitter again and again and again. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech uh, where all, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square. Free speech is meaningless unless you allow people uh, you don't like to say things you don't like. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. I, I really can't emphasize this enough. We, we, must, uh, uh, we must protect free speech. Um, and free speech only matters, it's only relevant when it's someone you don't like saying something you don't like. It's damn annoying when someone you don't like says something you don't like. That is a sign of a healthy, functioning, uh, free speech situation. Now, I'm pausing it. Before she speaks, I wholeheartedly agree with Elon Musk. Also, I want to throw this in there right now. And this may not be where they're going with this, but I'm just going to make an assumption and what I think they're going to go with this. They're going to make it out like Elon Musk does not like Don Lemon and he's being a hypocrite to what he said about 
being able to have free speech with somebody that you don't like or necessarily agree with. I think that's where they're going to try to go with this, but that's not what Elon Musk said, why he does not want Don Lemon and why he canceled it with them. But we'll see. Again and again and again. And remember, Musk's ex has over a quarter billion daily active users. A quarter billion people on this planet resolve it. It is, it use it, it is the town square. And joining me exclusively out front is Don Lemon. So Don, um, you do this 90 minute long interview mm -hmm. with Musk. Uh, you sit down with him. This is the culmination. He had actively courted you to come on one of his tweets. Have you considered doing your show on this platform? Maybe worth a try, audience is much bigger. Mm -hmm. It had been public, then you had, uh, reached a deal, I'll talk about that later. Uh, then he texts 24 hours after this 90 minute long interview, which is the first of your show launching. He says, contract is canceled. What happened? Yeah. First of all, it's good to see you, Aaron. Thank you, you for too. having me on. Uh, you, that's a good question for Elon Musk, quite frankly, what happened. I don't know. As I said in my statement, I felt really good about the interview. I said to him as we were doing the interview, and it was tense at moments, but you've been involved in tense interviews. Yep. I said to him, I think it's good that people see folks like you and I who have different worldviews come together and talk, as he says, uh, have free speech. Free speech is only important when someone you don't like, or I would say someone who doesn't have your same point of view, are someone is, if they're allowed to speak freely and to say their point of view. Apparently that doesn't matter to Elon Musk. It's just for maybe talking points for him or, or rhetoric because uh, it, it doesn't seem to matter when it's about him, questions about him from people like me. All right, so when you said that, I wanted to play some of the clips because some of them are illuminating. These are clips that, that you, you shared with us. Um, this is a part of the conversation with Musk where you ask him about hate speech. Here it is. When I learned about Mind Bloom, the heck is this? I'm muting this, man. They, that's a commercial, y'all. I'm going to pause it after I... Let me go ahead and bring the audio back in. Hate speech on the platform is up. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to Democrats? I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there constantly. Was... I could care less. Illuminating in so many ways. All right, I have two, I have two things I want to ask you about that, Don. First, the great replacement theory. Right. As you bring it up, um, you know, he has tweeted, uh, a tweet he shared. Increasing illegals boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. Mm -hmm. If Dems win President, House, and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals, and America will become a permanent one-party deep socialist state. Mm -hmm. Right? He has gone there directly. Uh, how much does he stand by these ideas? Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did. Uh, originally, he did that with Jewish people. It was sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people, and he got in trouble, and he had to go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and go with Ben Shapiro. But um, he doesn't understand that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about, the Great Replacement Theory and, um, and a migrant invasion, that's what radicalized shooters use in their manifestos, those exact words. The people who go and shoot up people, whether they be Latino people who live in Texas or black people who are in a supermarket uh, in Buffalo or Jewish people who are, who are worshiping, those people use the same rhetoric. I'm going to pause it. What about places where I come from, where I grew up at? Chicago, Decatur, Illinois, St. Louis, Baltimore. What about those places? Why, why, why are black people killing black people at an astronomical level? Is it because of that rhetoric too? Please, people are doing that because people are crazy. Plain and simple. You got to go deeper than that. I don't know what type of childhood these people had. I don't know what things they went through. I don't know what environment they grew up in. But you're not going to blame some words like that as the motivation as to why these people went out and did this. No. As far as a great replacement goes, a lot of people believe in that because it's being shown by the fact that whenever these migrants, quote, migrants are coming in and they're wanting to automatically give these people IDs and give them the right to vote, what do you think that is? Then who are they replacing? Anyway, I'll continue on. I'm not pausing as much. I'm not pausing as much. Y'all happy? I mess with y'all. I'm throwing shots. That there are tropes 
that they're either racist for Latinos or black people or for mm. Jewish people. And I wanted to know if he, had, if he felt any responsibility as someone who has the, one of the largest social media and information platforms in the world. Quarter billion people. A quarter billion people. Say. I think it's 455 or 500 million users a week. And it doesn't seem that he feels that he has any responsibility with that because he seemed really averse to facts. Yes, I'm pausing again. Be pissed. But people, this very news network that you're on right now, Russia collusion, Russia collusion, Russia, 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 Russia. Trump insurrection, Trump insurrection, Trump insurrection, Trump insurrection. Summer of love, summer of love. Oh, burning buildings behind them, but mostly peaceful. And you, dude, are you serious? Are you serious, Don Lemon? Y'all literally are the news network that was like that. Y'all are the grandfather of what they call fake news. Remember? I, oh, are we not going to talk about when Don Lemon, when you were on there, you wanted to interview me after I blasted critical race theory? Y'all don't want to talk about how CNN, y'all sent me a dang on manuscript of the question that Don Lemon was going to ask me and how y'all wanted me to answer those questions? Come on, man. Come on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that happened. I was going to interview with Don Lemon. They had a little they had a little script of the question that Don Lemon was going to ask me and how they wanted me to answer. Come on, man. BS. Here's another clip. You talked about ketamine in this particular mm -hmm. instance, something that he has uh, discussed before. Here he is. You talk about your ketamine use and, and depression. Have you, you also have said... And the, the reason I, sh I should say, like, the, like, the reason I mentioned... Uh, the, uh, the ketamine prescription on the X platform was because I thought maybe this is something that can help other people. Mm -hmm. That's why I mentioned it. You know, obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I would say uh, if someone has depression issues, they should consider talking to their doctor about ketamine instead of SSRIs. Yeah. Very civil conversation, but that is where it got very personal. Well, it got personal, but I didn't put that out there. He has spoken very freely about his use of those are prescription drugs but about his use of ketamine i would not have brought it up if well, it on was, x if it, he posted it he posted it yeah. and so i would not have brought it up because that's someone's personal information so i asked him about it also it it's no secret his drug use or alleged drug use i should say has been extensively written about it by very credible news organizations like the wall street journal and i asked him that and he said listen i have not read the wall street journal i don't read the wall street journal if i i don't have time to uh read about everything that people write about me i would never get anything done but also we, we remember on joe rogan he took a puff of marijuana right? and right and he said it was just right. a joke and i only took one puff elon musk is responsible for satellites, for Starlink. He's responsible for Tesla. He's responsible for a number of different companies on the, in the, uh, the stock market. Yep. And um, I, I think that it is important for people to understand his mindset, whether he's using drugs legally or not, and even, even if the ones he, that he's well, using, he's that's supposed to be- one of the most powerful people but, on the planet. But that's, he's one of, but, but ones that he's supposed to be, that he is using prescription-wise, that, that he's following the a doctor's orders under that. Mm. But yes, he's one of the most consequential people to the planet. And that was one reason why I was attracted to, to that. In this conversation. What is he trying to say, see y'all, man? That's where you messing up at. Don Lemon, you trying to get a job back? What are you doing? Are you trying to paint this picture Okay, guys, he takes this, he takes that. He took a puff of marijuana on Joe Rogan and said he only took one puff. This man is powerful. He's in control of Starling. He's in control of... What are, you, what are you trying to say to us? You think that's really going to try to change our mind? Well, Elon Musk definitely shouldn't be the person that he is because he... Do you know that... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just telling y'all. If you go through medical school and everything, you know this for a fact, and it's just factual. Do you know how many doctors are like the biggest crackheads? Do you know this? If they were to do a drug test across America in multiple hospitals, I guarantee you a high percentage of doctors are going to fail, going to have some shape, form, or fashion of some type of narcotic or opioids in their system. It's a known fact. Let's be real. Now, y'all can try to come at me all you want to, but I'm just telling the truth. We know this. We get these, we get these papers. Let me be quiet. Y'all know it's real. For the ones that work with me from Chi-Town all the way down through St. Louis, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, 
My point is, it's almost like you're trying to say this and paint a picture as if Elon Musk shouldn't be doing what he's doing. You're trying to make him out to be like he's this drug person that needs help. And yet at the same time, he's over some of his most powerful things and a mind like his. Let me have, I'll trade Elon Musk his mind any day. Then again, I don't know about that. I don't know if he's tortured in real life or not. I don't know what type of person Elon Musk is when he's not around other folks. But I do agree with a lot of things that Elon Musk say. I'm with him. If you have a channel like, I look, I don't even have nearly the amount of people that even is interested in my life and what I do and come on my channel or anything like that. But it's true. I don't have time to go and try to read and look through what people are saying about me. Even when I went viral, they said this, that when I went viral, it went 81 million views worldwide. I had news channels reaching out, local newspapers, schools calling, everything like that. And then people were coming to me, hey, did you hear that they said this? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't care. I, I got I'm I'm focused on what I'm trying to do right now. I don't have time to be going to trying to, ooh, let me see what they said about me. So I can respond by I'm not gonna make a video on what somebody said, but there was vid there are videos out there about me not being a father, not being I'm lying, I'm a paid actor. I'm not I'm not about to go and find all that mess out so I can be like, I'm not a paid actor. I'm making a video. I, I'm gonna keep on being Ty Smith. I'm on y'all minds, y'all not on mine for the ones that try to come at me, is what I'm saying. Anyway, again. Just trying to paint a bad picture. And Don Lemon seemed like he's right back at home where he belonged. And let me make it clear. Elon Musk clearly said that it felt like he was that, that Don Lemon didn't bring nothing new. It was just like it was it was a, it was CNN all over again. He said, like, I thought, you know, I thought your platform was going to be something different. Change it up. You're not on CNN no more. But why, you know, is CNN stealing you and coming out? You did talk about Trump. And again, given his role, it's one of the most powerful people in the world, running X, who he is going to support, whether he donates, the meeting that he took at Mar-a-Lago is of huge consequence mm -hmm. in the context of everything that he tweets. And here's part of the conversation you had with him about Trump. My new book, Keyboard Rich. How Bro, come on, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Donald Trump in Florida. Mm -hmm. in the context of everything that he tweets. And here's part of the conversation you had with him about Trump. You recently met with Donald Trump in Florida. What did you guys talk about? I was at a breakfast at a friend's place and Donald Trump came by. That's it. What did you discuss? I, I don't... <laughs> um, let's just say I, I, he did most of the talking. Did he ask you for money? He didn't. Are you going to loan him money to help pay his legal bills? I'm not, I'm not paying, paying his legal bills in any way, shape, or form. Did he ask you for a donation? No. Are you leaning towards anyone? No. You're not leaning towards anyone? Because you've been very... Well, let me say I'm leaning, leaning away from Biden. You're leaning... <laughs> uh, the trademark laugh there. Yeah. Which, by the way, in the context of the contract is canceled 24 hours after that interview, it just shows there was a lot of, of, of back and forth and, and give and take. Um, what did you take away from his comments on politics? Well, he says he's not going to endorse anyone now, but he may do it later. He says he's not going to give money to anyone now, but he may do it later. You never know with him. He may you know, be endorsing someone now on, on the platform. But um, you know, what's interesting to me in, in all of that and all these questions that you know, about what people are asking me, what I asked Elon, uh, what happened, what did I do? Yep. During the course of that interview, I never, I never raised my voice. I told him, you know, I think this is important for people to hear, especially considering how, the type of discourse that we're having in the country right now. And he supposedly says this is a public square for all. Maybe we're learning that a public square should not be privately owned by someone who doesn't think that there should be any moderation on that platform. And there it is. You went there and seen through the bull crap. Elon, I'm sorry, let me slow down. You went there and why by you doing what you're doing and saying what you're saying right now, Elon Musk seen through the bull crap, knowing that the whole part of it is that y'all have a problem with free. Y'all try to push it out there like oh, Elon Musk getting all these tough questions. He might, obviously he has a problem with free speech. No, he clearly stated what it was about you, Don Lemon, that he did not want there. He said, I don't want this CNN type thing. That's it. Now, Don Lemon, you are free to be on X. Like he said, you can, you free to go in there and start your own thing. If you know, you can, I don't know, be, do, do your own, wherever you, where, whoever your producers are and whatever you were doing your interviews and stuff from, you still can do that and post it on X. You just don't have a contract with them. That's it. So if you're going to build your audience and all that, then do that. And you, I'm pretty sure with your name and all the stuff that you're involved in, you got connections where you can reach out and connect with, connect with people and ask them questions. 
But this is not no thing where I like. I'm just saying. I'm not. I, it ain't like I'm a Don Lemon hater or an Elon Musk hater or a Don Lemon fan or an Elon Musk fan. But I'm calling it for what it is. You seem to be a little upset that the contract ended because Elon Musk's opinion of you was you just seem like this is just CNN all over again. And you think that he doesn't want you to have the show because of free speech? No, because you can have free speech by having your own account and doing your own thing, like I just said. So let's go ahead and finish this out. So uh, it, it was interesting because at the end, I could tell that he was upset and he was uncomfortable. It was tense. And I said, listen, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, I would go and have a beer and, and, and hash these things out. You and I do not disagree. You and I do not agree on much. Yeah. But I will fight for your right as, to be able to say what you want to say. Time out. Yes, I'm pausing. Be pissed. He just got done saying these things that have like these hate speeches on there. I mean, I, they, sh they should be, you know, <laughs> should they be on this particular way because I was allowed to be said on there. And then you'll turn around and say you'll fight for him to say, OK, anyway, anyway. That's what freedom of speech means to me. And 24 hours later. Then, and 24 hours later. It means comes. freedom of speech does not mean, I guess, the same thing to him as it does to me. Uh, Don Lemon, stop, sir. You y'all y'all saw this. You heard all this. Y'all can formulate your own opinion on this. I think that Don Lemon is salty because Elon Musk pretty much said, dude, your CNN is boring. People tired of it. I thought you was going to bring a new fresh look, something different to the whole ordeal, whatever. And I do want to do this real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get rid of this internet piece right here because I want y'all to see this and I'm going to look it up and I don't want y'all to go along with me because y'all might see some of my passwords and everything like that. But I do believe that Elon Musk in some shape, form, or fashion, did endorse Trump. But I'm going to look it up right now, and while I'm looking it up, can y'all do me a favor and hit that like button? Let me look it up, because I swear the thing was that Elon Musk had posted, he posted something, uh, where'd it go? Okay, this is what I'm talking about right here. Let me show y'all this. I think this might be some shape, form, or fashion of an endorsement. Check this out with Joe Rogan. Right? Y'all all see this, right? Okay. Let me make sure I can see it too. <clears throat> Look what Elon Musk posted right here. So 24 hours... They said 24 hours, Don Lemon was done. Look what Elon Musk posted right here. Well, I would vote for Trump before I'd vote for Biden. Just because I think with Biden, like, he's no, he's, he's gone. Like, you know he's gone. It's, you're going to be relying on his cabinet. And I knew his cabinet would be this fucking sideshow of diversity, and which is exactly <laughs> what it is. You can't have those kind of people running a Ben and Jerry's. You, <laughs> you certainly can't have those kind of people running the fucking <laughs> most powerful government the world's ever known. It's nuts. It's nuts. So, a lot of people are speculating that the fact that Elon Musk posted this is his way of saying he definitely is not going to be for Biden, that he is endorsing Trump. I don't know. That's the thing that's been said. I'd like to know what you guys' thoughts is on that right there, all right? Yeah, I have to post this, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all taking your time out of this late evening to look at this. It's usually not a time that I really post anything, but I felt I need to do a follow-up video to the one I posted earlier with Elon Musk. And Don Lemon. And again, shout out to Kimberly Campbell, 8355, for the message and letting me know about this. So I want to hear you guys' opinion on this and what y'all think. Do y'all think that Elon Musk is running from this or he just shut him down because of free speech, whatever it may be? I could be wrong, but I definitely like to know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that like button for me right now. Click the thumbs up button so this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm and also so my videos can continuously be recommended to you. If you are subscribed to the channel, make sure you click the bell and make sure that you have the notifications set to all notifications, all right? Do me a favor. The last thing we're going to ask you, and y'all should know this. Let one person know about this channel, whether it's through your phone or social media. Go through your phone. Encourage somebody to subscribe to the channel because you guys are the reason why the channel is growing. And I really appreciate y'all taking y'all time out again. Definitely want to see what y'all have to say about this one. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping to pray that every last one of you. Have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.